I'm gonna tell you the secrets to growing a Roblox YouTube channel. This is gonna be the best video that you have seen on how to make a successful Roblox YouTube channel. This is coming from a YouTuber with 27,000 subscribers and I want to guide you exactly through how you can do the same thing with your Roblox YouTube channel. And I'm going to give advice that you have never heard before by another Roblox YouTuber. Now first, the first point you're probably expecting me to make is consistency. And actually I'm not going to make this point first. You know what I'm going to make first? Discipline. The first point is discipline because to have consistency you, you must have discipline first. You need to be able to post videos on your schedule, which could be every day, every week, every three days, frequently. And you need to do this even on the days when you don't feel like posting a video. Most people, they might not post a video because they're not feeling motivated or they're tired or something like that. But this is something out of your control. You cannot rely on things out of your control to decide if you're going to post a video or not. It's just the truth. You need to rely on discipline, which may mean doing it when you don't necessarily want to. Recording videos, making them, and staying focused is crucial to consistency. And consistency really becomes easy once you have discipline. Discipline is difficult to get and build up, but consistency comes with discipline. Keep that in mind. All right. The second tip, focus on quantity first. The reason why you should focus on quantity first versus quality is because when you start out, you really have no idea what you're doing. Even if it's a new channel and you've done it before, you really have no idea what type of videos your ideal viewer wants to watch. And therefore you need to mess around and post as many as possible. This is going to help you build up your Roblox YouTube channel, build up your skills in making Roblox videos, really going to allow you to get that quality you want. The next tip is to focus on your ideal viewer. Think about exactly what type of videos they want to see. Now, for example, for my YouTube channel, I post Roblox development videos. There's a fair chance that most of my viewers are going to be a little bit older and they're not really going to be so interested in games like Adopt Me. So if I posted a video playing Adopt Me and getting pets, I'm not going to get barely any views because nobody is interested in that type of video. So you really have to think of your ideal viewer, think of everything about them and write this all down. What is their age? What are they interested in? You know, what games do they play on Roblox? This is really going to allow you to identify the types of videos you need to make for this type of person. Next tip is to focus on people over algorithms. So the YouTube algorithm, really, it's trying to go and figure out what people want. If you know exactly what people want, then the algorithm is going to go ahead and recommend that to people who want to see it. This is YouTube's job. Really, don't focus too much on the algorithm and analytics. Focus more on your ideal viewer, exactly what they want, building a connection with that viewer by providing them amazing videos that they'll love and very focused content exactly for them. Now. If you're going to focus on any metrics in your YouTube analytics, you should really try and focus on the click-through rate and the audience retention. So click-through rate is the percentage of people who see your th thumbnail and click on it. And the audience retention shows you a graph of when people click off and how you hold viewers attention during the video. And that leads me on to the next point. Focus heavily on making great thumbnails and titles as well as making your video well edited and have great storytelling. Now, making great thumbnails and titles is really quite the process, but here's a couple little bits of advice to help you. People usually say that your thumbnail should have three main elements or less. This is very good to keep in mind because if you do this, you're going to have a more focused thumbnail that gets your point across and it might be difficult, but it's really going to keep your thumbnail from being too busy and hard to pay attention to. So aim for three main elements. The next aspect is to keep a consistent color scheme. If you're using all these random colors in your thumbnail, it's going to look really weird and it's going to make it more inviting to click on if you have a consistent color scheme. Finally, don't use too much text in your thumbnails. Your text should be saved for your title and the thumbnail should have text that's interesting and makes them want to click. For example, my scripting guide, I could have written exactly how to script on Roblox, including properties, events, blah, 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 blah. No. No one cares. You need to make it short. So I wrote scripting for new. Boom. Gets the point across. It's very easy to understand. Gets the click. That's why it has 1.1 million views, or at least part of it. Part of it is also the editing. And that is the next point. Editing. So you really need to make your video well edited. Editing is, of course, really important because it makes it so that you can make the video high quality and cut out anything that doesn't need to be in there. You can really make it more engaging for the viewer and 
Really, nowadays, people have really short attention spans, especially due to things like TikTok, etc. So you really need to optimize the video for people's short attention spans. You need to have everything fast paced and easy for people to digest. If there's no editing, there's a good shot that many people won't watch to the end. Especially as a new channel, you need great edit. The next tip is storytelling. So, when you're making your videos, you need to have storytelling elements in it. So, the reason why is because a story is a familiar format that keeps us hooked and interested in what's about to happen next. So storytelling can be simple. You know, you can have a beginning, a middle, or an end. You can cut the video into different segments, like what I'm doing here, it's in different parts and tips. This is all a form of storytelling. By doing this, you know, building up suspense, building up to the next moment in the video, and having a great story, and making them always wanna know what's gonna happen next, this way, we're making it so that they wanna follow along. This is really, really important, and it's really quite difficult to master especially as you get into it you realize how important this is next up a lot of people ask me what do I use to edit my videos I use Adobe Premiere Pro but to edit your videos on phone and record on phone is completely possible if you are on a phone you can use iMovie there's Android video editors too and really there's no excuse to not make videos on your phone and there's plenty of people such as Sentident, I believe, who use a phone to make their videos. And I believe that Sentident has over 100,000 subscribers by now. And they just started on their phone. So like, there's really no excuse for you not to make it on your phone. It can work great. If you want more advice, make sure to subscribe with notifications on as I plan on making a lot more videos on this topic going even more in depth. But as a Roblox YouTuber, you probably already know that having lots of attention and eyes on you can lead to a lot of money and a lot of opportunities so that is exactly why you should watch the video on screen to learn the best ways to make robux on roblox starting now because you can use these methods combined with your youtube channel's growth to make tons of robux and build a channel that lasts